I've just been really emotional today. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm such a mess. It's okay. It's hard to understand the context, like around, you know, the different scenes. What was your reaction watching back, you know, the, the episodes in the pods and then a little bit in Mexico too? Obviously yeah. people online want to tag you with this sort of like this mean girl tag. I think what makes me nervous is having to really rely on what's internal. Yeah, if no one likes my insides, I'm going to pissed. <laughs> like, what the hell? Damn it, it all makes sense. What was your reaction when you saw that people were reacting that way? Um, it was really hard. Uh, I mean, I know, and my friends, my family know that's not me. Um, but it's like, you know, even watching it, it was hard for me to watch. I think I would have felt the same way. Uh, sorry. It's okay. Sorry, I've just been really emotional today. That's okay. Um, yeah, it's just, it's hard to watch. Um, you know, it's hard to understand the context, like around, you know, the different scenes. Um, but I just took time to reflect and, you know, what was going on in that moment. You know, why does it seem like that? Like, why am I laughing? And. I think a lot of time I use like laughter as a good nervousness. You know, I think about when I, you know, walked in from the pods and I came and Jackie was on the couch. You know, I didn't really understand or know that she was, you know, upset um, because I was so wrapped up in my own head. I just had a conversation with Kwame. I wanted to talk to my friend about it. I was nervous and scared. I was excited to, you know, tell Paul that I wanted to just move forward with just him. I was really excited and I think I didn't, I didn't take a step outside of myself to realize that there was something else going on, you know, around me. Um, you know, moments like that, it's like, God, why, why didn't I pay more attention to other people? But it was never meant to be nasty or laugh at anyone in pain. I even, like, watching the scene with Amber, um, you know, when she had come back in from her conversation with Paul, I know I was all frustrated and scared and upset. Like, why did it take so long? You sit with me. Yeah. I cannot be on. Okay, it's okay. That's fine. Where do you want to be? When I talked to Kwame, it ended it really quick, and I was you know, really strong in my conviction that I was going with Paul, and I was just so scared that maybe he changed his mind. And obviously, Irina and I, you know, very tastelessly wanted to listen and see what was going on. I never knew that she was crying or upset. I knew that she had other connections. You know, me and Amber decided early on that we weren't going to talk about our connections because we knew we had some of the same ones. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't realize, you know, the gravity of the situation. And watching it back, it just seems really, you know, selfish. And I know when she rounded the corner and she was crying, like I immediately was taken aback, like, oh my God, like, she's really upset. And like in one hand, I'm like, oh my God, Paul, like, you know, did end it with her. And in my heart, I'm a little happy. And, and seeing her cry was just terrible. And, you know, I hugged her and I told her I was so sorry. And, you know, she told me she was happy for me and she handled it with a lot of grace. Um, but, you know, it doesn't change the fact that, you know, I was more worried about myself than anyone else. And it's, you know, it was hard to watch. In one side of me, it's so happy, like relieved maybe. If you could go back and change the way that you react in those situations, I'm sure you would. Would yeah. you? Yeah, I wish I was more supportive of other people's journeys, even if it crossed over with mine. I never wanted to be mean or hurt Amber or hurt Jackie. It's just, I was caught up in my own story. I was, you know, trying to get, you know, this happy ending. And I think I was more interested in what was going on with me than anyone else. Yeah. And while it wasn't meant to be mean, it wasn't, it didn't, I wasn't caring or, you know, helping them through, you know, their difficult time. You put them out on Instagram saying you apologized to castmates. Who did you reach out to? Who did you feel like you needed to, you were compelled to reach out to and say, yeah. hey, I'm, I'm sorry? Yeah, um, you know, when things were happening, I definitely had conversations with Chelsea. Um, the disrespect shown at the pool party is embarrassing. Obviously, there, we were all drinking, and but it doesn't, you know, erase the fact that it was inappropriate. I think it was disrespectful to her and to Paul, um, so I apologized to her.
Arena recently put out a video apologizing. Do you guys still, are you guys still in touch? Are you guys still friendly? Sorry, I don't know why I'm such a mess. That's okay, can we, can somebody grab some tissues or something? Thank you. Just like talking about it out loud is just like emotional. Yeah, yeah of course. It's difficult. Very few people know what it's like to be in, yeah. in this position. Obviously, you know, whatever happened at the pool party, maybe it wouldn't have happened if I wasn't doing God knows what, you know. It's hard to say, but you know, it did hurt me because I felt like she was, you know, my closest friend at the time. I think that's the reason why I was so upset. Friends? Do you guys still talk? Yeah, we still talk. Um, I think this has been, you know, a growing um, experience for both of us. And I think, you know, we both, you know, need to work on ourselves, you know, just like everyone else. Um, but hopefully we can, you know, help each other do that. Yeah. Has there been anything that surprised you about the feedback that you've gotten on social media about from all this? Um, I think I wasn't expecting just because I know how things were in reality, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to be like this just because I knew my intentions. Mm -hmm. But when I watch the show, I understand where people are coming from. Yeah. And obviously it's really hurtful and it sucks to read, um, but I understand, I mean, people, you know, they're watching the show and they feel like, you know, they're a part of it and they're hurt and, you know, that's, it's okay. What I heard from my sources where, at least on her end, it's not very genuine, yeah. like in, in terms of her intentions of being on the show. Natalie from season two said that she wasn't sure that you were there for the right reasons, maybe had a possible ulterior motive. Yeah. Did you, I mean, would you have a response to that? I think, I think that she should have taken the time to talk to me or Paul before saying something like that. I mean, she knows, she went through this experience. She yeah. knows how, you know, things can be portrayed or feel. I mean, I'm sure she went through the same thing with Shane. So I thought, you know, I think that maybe she should have given me a little grace, especially in something that's so incredibly untrue. Yeah. Would you go on her and Deep Tea's podcast if they, and talk talk this out if invited? Um, yeah, I would consider it. Yeah. You know, at this point, it's like, if things aren't gonna be checked and sourced, it doesn't give me a lot of hope that it's something that I would want to put myself in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if I can't believe in where this information is coming from, why would I subject myself to that? For me, I like, I think I feed really hard off like people's energy. I would kind of maybe consider myself like an empath. So it's like important to surround myself with like really genuine people. Do you feel like a changed person from, you know, point A to, to point B in this journey? I think, you know, on par with how crazy the trajectory is with relationships, it also is for growth. I feel like I matured a lot throughout the process. I have a lot more to, to go. Um, but I feel like you're put in so many hard situations where you really just have to dig deep in yourself. And, you know, I did, and I did the best I could. And I yeah. think that I did, you know, have a journey, you know, in myself as well. What's your headspace around relationships with other cast members now. I mean, I can understand why you'd be like, I, I love you guys, but this is painful and difficult for me and I don't want to, I don't know. Or are you guys <laughs> bonded forever for this, by this experience? Yeah. Um, I think w with how everything kind of came out, I think it's made it more difficult mm -hmm. to be close with people. Um, you know, a lot of us were, you know, close out of the pods and we kept in touch. Um, you know, I've hung out with some of the girls and, you know, maintained relationships. I think that there's just so much going on right now for all of us that I don't want to, like, get in anyone's way. Like, I don't want to, like, if someone doesn't want to talk with me, like, that's okay. Like, I want you to have your journey. Um, I want you to do what's best for you. Um, but, you know, a lot of the people you know, on this show are really great people and there's definitely no writing them off as friends.